just wait for a few more of you to get on. I pray this network will be stable today. <laughs> Hello you all. I hope you all are doing well. Hey family. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. So we have another um, prophetic word to share and then, and then we're going to pray as well. Hallelujah. Today is our last day of our last day of our prayer and fasting for the month of August. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you're connecting from. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hello. God bless you. Welcome. Today is our last day of our fasting and prayer program. For all of those that have been participating, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And your labor in the Lord, as you know, is not in vain. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to release this word over us and then we are going to pray in Jesus' mighty name. God has been so good. August has been unusual. August has been intense and there's been so many blessings on so many lives in the month of August. So, Father, we just thank you for the blessings and the testimony, the night of testimony that we had. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good afternoon to you all as you come in. God bless you in Jesus' name. It's about to feel like a dream. The end of the oppression is coming. The end of the suffering is coming, child of God. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. What he said concerning you, he will perform. He will bring to pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many of you are fasting with us today? Today is our last day. <laughs> Let's keep pushing. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is about to feel like a dream. It's about to feel like a dream and it is turning in your favor. The Lord speaks of when he delivers you. When he sets you free, when he when he turns your captivity, when he removes the bondage. The Lord speaks about when he does this thing that he said he's going to do in Psalm 126. This word is a reminder because many of us know of this scripture and are waiting to see the scripture manifest in our in you know, our, our lives. And Father God says, when he finally does this, when he finally brings about your deliverance, it's going to feel like a, um, like a dream. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we all know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's not enough for you to say, you know, I've heard this before, I'm tired. No, hear it again and again. Because there's something happening to your spirit, man. Your faith is being built up. Your courage is being built up. Amen. God is building you. Hallelujah. With, with all the delays and all the sufferings and even, you know, him allowing the enemy to afflict you sometimes to, you know, bring, you know, the attacks it's actually working out for your good though the enemy thinks like you know he's he's winning but he's not actually winning child of god because you've won it all already in christ jesus come on our family somebody say i've won it all in christ that should be your word for today i've won it all in christ it's about to feel like a dream in my life when the lord finally turns the captivity of his people when the lord finally heals you it will feel like a dream for many of you the healing has already begun and you can see the signs you know i spoke about seeing the signs because god will always bring the signs first hallelujah and the lord will use you to be a sign unto somebody else as well amen we prayed yesterday saying that we were a sign and a wonder because god told us that we were a sign, a sign and a wonder in his word hallelujah and and then just not you know knowing that we are a sign and a wonder is not just enough but you must understand that being a sign and a wonder means signs and wonders have to follow you all the days of your lives amen praise the lord the same way that the word of god says surely goodness and mercy amen is all part of it hallelujah praise god we're gonna go into Psalm 126 that's the only scripture i've got for this uh word today and then we're gonna pray over ourselves Psalm 126 is our, is our prayer um, anchor, uh, you know, our word for today. Psalm 126, amen. God bless you. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So we're going to just read uh, Psalm, Psalm 126. If you have your Bibles, you can open up to Psalm 126. If you don't have your Bible, click on the title and I've put the scripture in there for you so to follow. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's turning in your favor, child of God. Somebody say, it's turning in my favor. It's turning in my favor. Don't get tired, child of God. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it's okay 
it's okay. You better be strong. Just keep holding on. It is turning in your favor. Yes, it's felt like a long time. Yes, the wait has felt so long. There's so many people that, that God actually brought their weight to an end. And I read their testimonies in the month of August this month. And God is bringing your weight to an end too as well, child of God. So I know, I know what it feels like because I've been there. I know what it feels like because I've been there to be able to wait for my marriage to be restored or to be able to wait for financial breakthrough and get it from the Lord. So if I tell you that I know, trust me, I know. So God hasn't forgotten you. All you need to do on your own part, because you have your part to play, all you must do on your own part is remain aligned, remain obedient, and remain in service unto the Lord. Amen? Don't worry, God has got you, child of God. He loves you so much. Father God loves you beyond your imagination. You have no idea. You have no idea. He's not just sitting there on his throne watching you saying, hmm, I love how my child is suffering. No, 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 no. You know, he, he allows us to go through many things that we go through for a good reason for a good purpose and when you finally come out on the other side you'll be thanking the lord that god you know what thank you that that sickness lasted six months thank you that you know people on my job were just attacking me left right and center thank you for the oppression lord thank you for thank you for breaking me because now you've made me into something that i'm a surprise to myself thank you lord thank you it sounds weird it sounds crazy but let me let me tell you something when when god brought about many of the many of the deliverances in my own life i was thanking him for the time where i was down like literally thanking the lord because god used those things to draw me near to him and to seek him and to come to know who he really is as our god amen praise the lord psalm 126 hallelujah can we just quickly pray and then we'll get right into the scripture lord holy spirit how wonderful you are, our lovely Abba Father, our source, our sustainer, our defender, our protector, our provider. We adore you. We thank you for everything that we've been through up until this very moment. We celebrate your power. We celebrate your name. We lift your name high, O oh God. And even right now, as we gather, Lord, you said where two or three gather in your name, that you are there in their midst. We welcome your holy and precious presence even right now. And we humble ourselves before you, O oh Lord. We bring ourselves real low, Heavenly Father, because you can only lift a man that is low. And we make ourselves, we humble ourselves to be as low as we can right now, Father God. And we ask for your mercy even right now, so that it will not be um, a hindrance Whatever it is, oh God, that you know we have done or carry in our hearts up until this hour, that it will not be a hindrance, that it will not block what you want to do in our lives, oh Lord. Even right now, as this word is coming, oh Lord, we, we just plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our minds, our spirit, our soul, and our body. And we receive grace for spiritual insight and understanding, and the grace, oh God, to keep waiting and trusting you, oh Lord, even in these times. Blessed be your name forevermore, Lord Jesus. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. And let your name be glorified forevermore, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalm 126 says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, that means the Lord has, you know, must have done this before. For who? The people of Israel. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, that means the Lord must have done this again. How, how many times, how many of you can actually confirm to say, God has delivered me from quite a few things. Like again and again, I see the deliverance of power of God in my life. I am one of them. I'm definitely one of them. I can say that, yes. I have seen the Lord come through more than once in my life. If you're here to see Father God come through once in your life, just, just hold on, because he will. As long as, again, you remain aligned with the Lord, you remain obedient, and you keep serving the Lord, and you have a heart for him. Praise the Lord. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. When the Lord gave me financial breakthrough, I was like one of them that dreamed. When the Lord gave me provision for my family, I was like one of them that dreamed. When the Lord retired me from working for other people at the age of 33 and told me to go into full-time ministry and he's providing for me supernaturally, I was like one of them that dreamed. When the Lord came in and restored my marriage, I was like one of them that dreamed. When Father God healed me, from the sickness I had under my foot that didn't allow me to work for months, I was like one of them that dreamed. 
When the Lord brought me out of where I was, out of my wilderness, into my promised land, I was like one of them that dream. Come on now, somebody. You better be thanking the Lord for that testimony because God wants to do the same for you. The same. The same. The same. Come on. I'm just led to pray in the spirit because I know God is about to do something in many of your lives. All of the words coming out to you in all these live streams, they're not for nothing. Their spirit words been sown into your spirit man that's about to become flesh. You're about to give back child of God. I keep saying this, but it's the truth. Many of you are in that ninth hour and you're literally about to pop that baby out. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Has God filled somebody's mouth with laughter before? Yes, yeah, Sarah. Sarah in the Bible and so many others. Amen. And so many in this ministry where we read their testimonies on the night of testimonies where God filled their mouth with laughter. Amen. There were single parents that went into shops to do shopping for them for themselves and their children and they and they didn't even get to pay one dollar. The people that actually served them told them, no, don't worry, don't pay anything. No, this church, yes, Newman Godfrey Church, yes. Just go and listen to the testimonies if you haven't heard them. So many strange blessings. God is just not playing, child of God. And I'm not playing too because I'm, I'm here for a purpose. To get your hope alive again and to get your faith back on track. Amen. God wants to bless you. Don't be cast down. God wants to move and do a mighty thing in your life. He wants you to come to see what he's done for others. He wants to do the same, even bigger and better for you, child of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Somebody say, my mouth shall be filled with laughter. My mouth is filled with laughter. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And our tongues with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for me. Has the Lord done great things for you? Or is the Lord about to do great things for somebody here on this live stream today? The Lord has done great things for you, child of God. You just haven't seen. The great things are done already. Hallelujah. They're just about, you are just about to, you know, uh, you know, come to seeing the day when, when, when that great thing happens on that day. Because God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He, he's already prepared everything. All things are ready. Did you know all things are ready, child of God? Did you know all things are ready, child of God? All you need to do is keep preparing yourself. All you need to do is keep strengthening your faith. Did you know all things are ready for you? Child of God, all things are ready. Thank you, Jesus. All things are ready for you. God has made everything ready. So don't you doubt. Cause all things are ready. Your healing is ready, child of God. Your breakthrough is ready. Your turnaround is ready. Your children is ready. They are ready. Your kingdom spouse is ready. It doesn't matter what it looks like right now. All things are ready. Your financial breakthrough is ready. Your wealth is ready. Your destiny, your calling, your purpose is ready. God is just waiting for you. Hallelujah. Sometimes the Lord is just waiting on us to get to that place of maturity, to get to that place of repentance, like yesterday's word. Amen. God loves you and he wants to bring to pass what he said he will do. Your mouth will be filled with laughter. When he turns the captivity, it will feel like a dream. And your tongue will be filled with singing. My tongue shall be filled with singing, singing, sing, sing, singing. Come on. My tongue shall be filled with singing, singing, sing, 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 singing. Hey, my mouth shall be filled with laughter. Ha! Laugh, 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 laughter. I will be singing, I will be laughing, I will be singing, and I will be laughing. I will be singing, I will be laughing when I see what the Lord has done in my life. Oh, in my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
praise the Lord. The Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for me. Put your name in there and put it in the live chat. The Lord has done great things for me. Father God has done great things for me. Lord, I thank you that you've done great things for me. Lord, I thank you that you've done great things for me. Lord God, I thank you. Jesus, thank you for doing this great thing for me that I do not deserve. But because of your unfailing love and your great compassion towards me as your child, I thank you that you've done this great thing for me. Lord, thank you for bringing me up until the end of August. Thank you, God, for bringing an end as we come to the end of August. Thank you for bringing an end, Lord, to everything that I don't want to see in my life. Thank you for bringing an end, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Father God, for taking me into September. Thank you for all that you've prepared for me in September. I will not miss it. It will not pass me by. September is my month. September is the month where the Lord has done great things for Glenn. September is the month where the Lord has done great things for Glenn. September is the month where the Lord shall begin to do the incredible things, the unbelievable things, the amazing things in my life. September is the month of my healing. September is the month of my deliverance. September is the month of my divine deliverance. September is the month where the hand of God shall be visible in my life. I decree and I declare. Because the word of God says that I shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto me. I decree and declare over every single one of you that have continued to serve the Lord with all of your heart, all of your mind and all your soul. September shall be the month of your great deliverance, of your great healing, of your breakthrough, of your liberation, of your restoration. September shall be that month. For many of you, September is a month of progress for you. September is a month of blessings. September is a month of breakthrough. September is the month where you come to see God's mercy manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, September is that month uh, where you shall laugh with your mouth uh, and sing with your tongue. The songs that you never thought that you could sing, child of God. September is that month where the Lord places you on a platform to glorify Him, uh, to lift His name up. September is that month uh, where God does wonders in your life. September is that month uh, where you shall see miracles, child of God. September is that month uh, that shall be filled uh, with miracles. September, the ninth month, uh, is that month where many of you come into your ninth hour, come into your moment uh, where you begin to deliver we begin to deliver the the, uh, the uh, baby that god has placed on the inside of your womb your your a spiritual promise your kingdom marriage hallelujah many of you are going to come into just encountering the lord in so many strange ways in the month of september and there will be one or two that will meet their kingdom spouse in the month of september because our god is able hallelujah praise the lord Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, fill my mouth with laughter. Lord, turn again my captivity and fill my mouth with laughter. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, turn again my captivity and fill my mouth with laughter. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy upon me and turn again my captivity. Lord, have mercy upon me and turn again my captivity. Let it feel like I was dreaming. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, and bring about my swift, quick deliverance, O God. Lord, have mercy upon me, O Lord. I humble myself before you, Abba Father, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, turn again my captivity. Bring about my deliverance. Bring about my breakthrough. Bring about my healing. Bring about my restoration in my marriage, in my body, in my children's life, in my husband. Bring about bring about my restoration bring about my rest oh lord in my finance heavenly father in my career heavenly father bless me me lord with that employment heavenly father oh god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord bring about my bring about a turning around oh lord in my captivity heavenly father oh god turn again my captivity in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and fill my mouth with laughter and fill my tongue with singing fill my mouth with laughter oh lord are you all praying the way i'm praying right now fill my mouth with laughter oh lord fill my tongue with singing heavenly father oh lord do a great thing in my life in the month of september even today heavenly father you can come true for me today lord god you can come true lord god i'm i am i'm moving out of the way oh lord that 
that you can come true lord come true for me today even today heavenly father even on this last day oh lord of august 2022 father in the name of jesus christ have mercy have mercy have mercy have mercy oh lord look upon me heavenly father with your unfailing love and compassion heavenly father i know you love me lord lord have mercy upon me oh lord deliver me oh lord deliver your people pray in the spirit child of god if you can pray in the holy ghost if not call upon the name of jesus jesus wash me lord cleanse me lord purify me lord lift me up heavenly father oh god I'm tired, oh Lord, of being in the same place, of being in the same position, Heavenly Father. I've been praying, oh God. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Look at my heart, Heavenly Father. Open up your mouth, family, and pray in the spirit, and call upon the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm desperate for a change. I decree and I declare over you, child of God, a change is coming. The Lord is turning your captivity. The Lord is turning your captivity. The Lord is bringing an end to every brick. To every bondage, the Lord is bringing an end to every bondage, to every captivity. The Lord is turning it. The Lord is bringing about your freedom in the name of Christ Jesus. Because the word of God says, For the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Because the word of God says, that he that has been set free is free indeed by the Son of God. Because you've been set free by the Son of God, you've been free. You are free indeed, child of God. I set you free by reason of the anointing of God upon my life. I set you free, child of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are loose, child of God. You are loose, man of God. You are loose, man of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are free, child of God. You are free, child of God. Walk free, child of God. God is turning things around in your favor. It's turning in your favor. It's turning in your favor. <laughs> it's turning in your favor, child of God. I said, I said, I said, it is turning in your favor. Say that to yourself. All things are turning in my favor. All things are turning in my favor. Psalm 126 is my portion today and forever. Psalm 126 is my portion today and, and uh, forever. I shall begin to see a uh, turning around in my life, in my health, in in my uh, career, in my academics, in my family, in my marriage, in my body, in my health, in everything that, that concerns me, I shall see a turn around. I am seeing a turn around in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall see a turn around, child of God. In every era of your life, you shall begin to see a turn around. You shall begin to see a turn around. It's turning, child of God. God. It was turning, child of God. It's turning. It is turning in Jesus' mighty name. It is turning. And the Lord shall fill your mouth with laughter when it turns. And the Lord shall fill your tongue with singing when it turns. And, and the Lord shall fill your entire being with so much joy with so much joy with so much gladness how oh my god with so much gladness hallelujah with so much rejoicing jubilating hallelujah celebration the lord shall fill you child of god the lord shall fill you out of your belly shall flow rivers of joy rivers of peace rivers of living water rivers of goodness hallelujah rivers of favor hallelujah my god thank you jesus the Lord will do a great thing in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Verse 3 says, The Lord had done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. The Lord had done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Hallelujah. It didn't just stop there by saying, The Lord had done great things for them. Now it says again, it reiterates the same thing and it says, The Lord has done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Hallelujah. My God. Father, we thank you that you have done a great thing for us. Thank you, God, that even right now you are doing a great thing, O oh Lord, for us. Father, we say thank you. Lift up your voice, family. Mark. 
a prayer of thanksgiving for what God is about to do in your life in the month of September. Father, I'm saying thank you. I say thank you, O Lord, that you have done a great thing. Thank you. Thank you, O Lord, for what you are doing, O Lord, even right now, O Lord, and into September in this year, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are doing a great thing in my life. Open your mouth, child of God. Father God, I thank you. Abba, Father, I thank you that you are doing a great thing in my life. I thank you, O Lord, that you are doing a great thing in my life. I thank you, O Lord, that you are doing a great thing in my life. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that you are doing a great thing, Heavenly Father, in my life. I thank you, O God, that you are bringing an end to the captivity. Lord, I thank you that you are bringing an end to the turmoil. I thank you that you are bringing an end to the suffering. I thank you, O oh God, that you are bringing an end, O oh God, to the chaos and confusion in my marriage. Lord, I thank you, O oh Lord, that you are bringing my single season to an end. I'm going into my marital destiny, my God. Father, I thank you, O oh Lord, that you are bringing every lack, O oh Lord, to an end, Heavenly Father. I thank you, O oh God, that you are bringing me into financial prosperity. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for a release of of my wealth, Heavenly Father. I'm saying thank you in advance. I'm saying thank you, God, because I know, Lord God, that you would not withhold any good thing and any good gift for me. Father, I say thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for how far you have brought me. I thank you, God, that every day, oh God, that you are turning things, they are turning in my favor, even though I cannot see with my eyes, oh God, what is turning. I know they're turning. I know they're turning. I know they're turning. I know they're turning. It's turning for my good. It's working for my good. It's working for my good because I love you. I know, God, that you are working it out for my good. Work it out for my good, Heavenly Father. Work it out for my good, oh Savior. Work it out for me, oh Lord. For in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, work it out for your people's good. Work it out for their good. Work it out for their good. King of kings, Lord of lords, El Shaddai, Elohim, El Roy, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jari, Ali, Jehovah Rapha. Our God, our great God, I am that I am, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Mongolian Church, come down mightily in your people's life and work it out for their good, and work it out for their good, and work it out for their good. We celebrate your love because you are powerful, you are awesome, you are mighty, you are the God of miracles that can work it out for our good. Lord, work it out for their good, work it out for their good, work it out for their good, turn it around in their favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, turn it around, Heavenly Father. Turn it, Lord. Turn it, Lord. Turn it, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for turning around the captivity. Oh, Lord, as the streams in the south, as the streams in the south, Lord, thank you for turning around the captivity as the streams in the south, the north, the east, and the west. Thank you, oh God, that their light is shining forth. Your light is shining forth, child of God. And kings and queens are coming to the brightness of your rising. Why? Because it has now begun to turn around in your favor. Because why? It's now working out for your good, child of God. It's working out for your good, child of God. Hallelujah. Don't be silent. Don't be silent, child of God. Always decree and declare God's word over your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They that sow in tears, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. There's so many of you that have been giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, and you are yet to see the rain of that giving come down. You are waiting the rain of that harvest to come down. The Lord has seen your giving. You've kept on tightening. You've ke you have kept on sowing seeds, and you've been waiting for that breakthrough to come true and for the financial rain to come down. And the Lord is saying to you right now: Yes, you've given. Yes, you've sowed in tears. Even what you didn't even have you've given your last some of you have given your last of what you had and the lord is saying to you that your joy is coming because your cup will are run over because the lord will, will, will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies where you have abundance and they cannot touch what you have they cannot come close to what you have hallelujah because what you have is for you and your household and for the glory of god hallelujah praise the lord they that sow in tears shall reap in joy they that sow in Tears shall reap in joy. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Even the time that you have sown into the things of God, you shall reap in joy because your labor is not in vain, child of God. Come on now, family. Hallelujah. My God. 
gladness is your portion child of God goodness is your portion child of God mercy and grace and miracles and blessings are released upon you by the grace of God right now by the anointing of God right now child of God I release you child of God into what God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your joy shall be full somebody say that to themselves right now my joy shall be full my joy shall be full even now my joy shall be full even now the well of my joy shall be full hallelujah even now my joy shall be full no more sadness no more sorrow i refuse to be cast down i refuse to be sad i refuse to be sorrowful no 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 no. because i know the god that i serve will come true for me no matter how today looks or, or, or no matter how today is going to turn out no matter how yesterday has been i choose to trust in the lord i refuse to lean on my own understanding i choose to trust in the lord because i know that my god my god the maker of heaven and earth the one that brought deliverance for the people of israel will bring my deliverance too the one that parted the red sea will come and part every red sea in my life too the 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 one that caused the wall of Jericho to fall down flat will come and bring down every long-standing wall and every long-standing mountain in my life to bring it down and make it a plain in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we say thank you for your word. We bless your holy name. Give us grace, Heavenly Father, to keep waiting upon you, O Lord, today, O Lord. For as long as you need us to, Heavenly Father, help us by your spirit. Carry us, Lord, by your spirit, Heavenly Father, to a high your place heavenly father oh lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you for the last day of our prayer and fasting thank you oh god thank you lord for what you're about to do in the month of september we acknowledge you we celebrate you we celebrate your mercy and your power and your love in jesus christ's name we pray amen hallelujah thank you jesus he has done great things let's sing that song family he has done great things bless his holy name he has done great things he has done great things he has done great things he has done bless his holy name bless his holy name hallelujah god bless you all in jesus mighty name so glad to be able to connect with you all this afternoon once again with a good network hallelujah praise the lord amen remain encouraged hallelujah and i'll see you all in tonight's live stream please don't miss tonight's live stream please don't miss tonight's live stream and i pray that it will be good as well amen praise the lord tell somebody as well because tonight we're going to be doing something that we've not done before we're going to take our time to pray intensely as i release the word that father god uh you know gave to me to release tonight something is about to break hallelujah praise god something is about to break amen 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 love you all so much i want to pray for all, all those who have given i pray for your giving i pray for your seed your titan everything that you're giving on so father god may father god bless you and prosper you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray that father god will give you financial rest in the mighty name of christ jesus and also i pray that god will turn around every every uh financial um uh a situation that looks very very unfavorable to you right now and and bring about a breakthrough in your finance i pray that father god will release malachi 310 over your life and cause the floodgates of heaven to be opened over you and and just cause that to be an abundance and overflow of blessings in your life in jesus mighty name hallelujah praise the lord for all those who have sown a seed of tents giving may father god continue to add more and more to you as you continue to give him thanks through what he has given unto you and those that are seeking employment that, that don't have i pray that the lord will bless you with employment will bless you with the job of your dream in jesus mighty name there's somebody here that is in real estate i don't know who it is but that's what i hear to, to pray for somebody here that is in real estate business my god father in jesus mighty name i pray lord god that you will open again oh god favors unto them heavenly father oh god open again unto them heavenly father away oh lord where the way was shut before heavenly father god and bless them oh god with the right clients in jesus mighty name oh lord Lord. but i thank you oh god bless your children heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray and i just release ezekiel 34 26 over you all in the mighty name of christ jesus may there
there be showers of blessings all over you, all over you, all over your family, all over your finance, all over all that concerns you in your home, in Jesus' mighty name. May there be nothing lacking or missing in your life, child of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you, may you live in the abundance of God's goodness, God's mercy, and God's grace in Jesus' mighty name. God bless every single one of you in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. May your uh, wine and your oil and your wheat never run dry. May continue to overflow in Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I'll see you all later on in the evening. If you're not born again, please give your life to Jesus. Jesus loves you so much. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. God, God sent Christ to die for you on that cross, okay? It's time for you to turn to Christ. You've lived life your own way. You've done things your own way. I'm telling you right now, if God can change my life by me just believing in Jesus Christ and walking with the Lord, he can do the same for your child of God. And I want to welcome you to the family of Christ by saying just one single prayer of salvation that will take just a few seconds let's all pray together and all those that have said this prayer before please say it again please say it again again okay? daily repentance is of great necessity amen praise the lord oh lord god say with me oh lord god i come to you today lord jesus i believe that you died for me lord jesus i believe that you were raised up on the third day lord i receive your holy spirit into my spirit i declare I'm saved, I'm born again, I'm renewed, and right now, I receive grace, O oh Lord God, to live for you a life of righteousness, godliness, purity, and sanctification, and consecration. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare, I'm saved, I'm born again, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you all, I pray that God will grant you grace to truly live for him and remain aligned in Jesus' mighty, precious name. Love you all so much and see you all tonight. God is good. This is my year of renewal and release where all things are renewed and made new and I'm released into my promise. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you, child of God, all the days of your life and you shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever amen and amen it is turning in your favor child of god it will feel like a dream god bless you and see you very soon in jesus mighty 